This is lined out towards right center field and deep. Back goes Patterson, and that ball is gone. His first career major league home run for Mitch Moreland. 2010, you're 25 years old. You're playing AAA. July 29th, you get a call up. You know, less than three months later, you're playing in your first postseason. Uh, what was that like? <laughs> um, fast. It was yeah. crazy, you know, uh, just the thought of it. I remember. My first game there, uh, we were playing Tampa in the ALDS, and uh, Wolf, Jim Wolf was our umpire. And I said, you know, what's up, Wolfie? And he said, what's shaking, Mitch? And I remember telling him, my knees. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I felt like I was like, man, I hope they can't see my knees shaking on TV, because I know yeah. my pants, it looked like I was just quivering, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely a crazy experience, surreal experience, something that, uh, that I'll, I'll, I'll always cherish, you know, try not to take for granted. Had a lot of uh, veteran guys on that on that team that um, <clears throat> they, they told me, you know, just don't take this for granted. This doesn't happen, you know, every year, um, especially since, you know, I'd been up there for two months and got to, you know, I was playing in the World Series by the end of the year. So, uh, you know, something that was a, you know, great, great learning, learning curve for me, great experience in baseball. One of my favorites, you know, but uh, obviously we didn't didn't finish like we wanted, so uh, kind of that unfinished business still uh, gives you that burning desire, a little bit more of a, uh, I guess, push for for uh, finishing and getting it all. But um, yeah, it was it was awesome. Your knees may have been shaking in that first game of the ALDS, but you ended up leading the Rangers in hitting during the LCS and and hit over 400 in the World Series and hit the first home run. Mm -hmm. Series home run in in Rangers history. Uh, looking back at it from the benefit of hindsight, now how do you think you you managed to maintain your equilibrium through that? Uh, I don't know. I've you know I've always tried to just stay as even keel as possible. Uh, you know, one of those things that you know really rely on my work ethic and the work I'm doing and trusting that and and uh, not really let the lights and the and the fans and and all that around you kind of get to you because you know in that situation that's the biggest stage and uh just everywhere you look there's distractions so uh, i just try to keep my head down and, and keep keep moving forward and keep working and that was that was kind of what i stuck to and i think that was a good game plan you know for trying to handle that even though i was in a, a place i'd never been before in a situation that was bigger than I'd ever been in as far as uh, as baseball went. You've spent your entire career, better part of a decade, with one club. And then you sign with the Red Sox. Uh, what is that adjustment like for you? It's It's been a little bit of an adjustment. Um, what's What's nice is being able to come to the ballpark every day and be in a, an environment that feels normal to me, I guess. Uh, just being at the baseball field kind of calms all that down and uh, obviously the group of guys we've got, the staff we've got, uh, the front office seems you know, great. They've been super nice to me and, and very welcoming. Um, but the guys are unbelievable here. And uh, that's made it really easy, a very smooth transition. Uh, you know, traffic uh, <laughs> is one thing that I'm getting used to. Um, you know, so far the weather's been a little colder, but I don't – usually mind that a whole lot but uh weather's been a little more chilly and uh kind of the crazy schedule with the day games and night games has been a little different but you know uh other than that it's been it's been really really smooth